This discussion will demonstrate how Vector Cognito uses AI to efficiently find attackers and enable quick, decisive action. When you look into the user interface, the hosts are mapped against threat severity and certainty scores. One demonstrates the level of risk, and one is the likelihood of that risk. You'll focus on those in the upper right-hand corner. When looking at a specific host, you'll see the detections and behaviors that have been identified on each one. In this case, you'll see that command and control, lateral movement, and reconnaissance activities have been identified for this host. You'll also see that this host is part of a broader campaign. When you look into that campaign, you'll see that a variety of hosts are connecting to a command and control infrastructure in AWS. And you'll also see several connections indicating active tunnels are in place and others where connectivity has been established but there isn't much activity yet. The lateral propagation is also apparent with the attacker moving from Jackson P to other computers using RPC. This establishes Jackson P as the most likely patient zero. You can also see the sequence of events that are part of this campaign. And looking at this view, you can also confirm that Jackson P is indeed patient zero. Now let's go back to that host view. When you, when you look at the individual detections and behaviors, you can dig deeper into each one. In this case, let's take a look at the command and control detections. When you're inside of a given detection, you'll be able to see broader context around potential triggers, root causes, and the level of risk that it represents to a company. You'll also be able to see the individual activities that constitute that detection, as well as the timelines for those activities. And you can also take a historical view of all network metadata anchored around that host and conduct deeper investigations into the host as well as associated campaigns.